Hi everybody, welcome back to The Young Grower. So, so many people have been asking me what to do with the sweet peas next. They've planted them and they've started growing and they are looking a little bit leggy. So I'm going to show you the next steps of how to get an abundance of sweet peas just like I did last year. So let's do this. So as you can see, they're all different heights and some look a little bit leggier than others, but that is fine. There's no need to worry whatsoever. So what I like to do is when they're at least 10 centimetres high, what we're going to do is pinch them out. And we're going to pinch them to at least the second leaf. And this will encourage side shoots that one there's already started. So simply just cut like that and do it to all of them. And it will encourage a bushier plant and a more vigorous plant in spring. I've cut all this tray and I've left two leaves per plant. It may look brutal, but they'll do just fine and they'll actually benefit from you doing this. So now I'm going to get on with the rest and show you them after. So there we go. So that is all the sweet peas pinched out. And do not be afraid to do this as long as you leave a couple of leaves. It will continue to grow and produce side shoots. And another tip while we're here recording. As you can see, there are a few pots without any in. So what I'm going to do is some of the pots that are really full, we'll pull one out, just pull it out and push it in the pot next to it. They start with, we've got one there. So I'm hoping that that was simple and easy for you to follow and it gives you the instructions to continue to grow sweet peas over winter. Yeah, so nice to come into the greenhouse and see some green. So thank you all for watching and we'll see each other soon.